Let's talk about actors giving other actors notes or directing other actors. That's what this video is all about. We're going to talk about what it means to give another actor a note, why it's bad to do that, and some ways that you can give notes that are acceptable. And then we're also going to talk about how you can take a note. And we've all heard as actors that we're not supposed to direct other actors or that you're not supposed to give other actors notes. But what does that really mean? Because for many years, I didn't think I was giving other actors notes, but I actually was. And it wasn't until my behavior was pointed out to me that I made some adjustments. So there's the obvious ways of directing another actor, telling them to change their blocking or to try something different with their blocking, saying how they should say a line. Hey, you know, it would be funnier if you said it like this, or maybe you could you give me that line a little bit faster so that it, it lands my joke better? Or maybe Maybe saying things like, would you exit off of uh, the downstage wing instead of the upstage wing so that we don't have a traffic jam? Or asking an actor to change their lines or change their choreography that's been given to them. But you also just want to be aware of subtle ways that people give lines. So as an example, I was once in a show, we were all on a break and we were ch chatting and talking and stuff. And then the director says, okay, we're ready to start rehearsal again. And I'm there listening and the director says, let's go from page five, right? And then a couple actors that were behind me were chatting and saying, where did we, where do we start? And I just said, page five, right? Turned around and said, page five. I took those words directly from the director's mouth. Uh, they were about to respond to the person and I said it before them out of my own impatience, right? And I didn't even think of it as giving direction or giving a note to another actor, but it is kind of a subtle way. It's not my job to get everybody corralled and ready to pay attention. It's not my job to quiet everybody down. And another way that we direct actors or give them notes. It's not really giving a note and it's not really directing them, but it's uh, feeding them lines. If you feed an actor a line when like, they forget a line in rehearsal and they're struggling and you tell them what their line is, then you're kind of directing them. You're kind of getting in their business, their process, and you are robbing them of the opportunity to struggle and find their own solution in that moment. Now, obviously, if you're in the middle of a production and you've got an audience there and the actor goes up, they're going to be thankful if you can kind of guide the conversation back on track and, and maybe hint at their line without actually feeding it to them. But that's a little different. Now, I am guilty of this myself. When I was in college, I used to feed people their lines all the time. For some reason, I always just would remember my cue lines and therefore I would know what lines other actors are supposed to be saying. So if they fed me the wrong line or they were stumbling or they had forgot, I would just feed them the line. I once had a person just blow up on me and saying, you know, like, you are so smart, Doug. You are such a smart person. I bet you know everything. I was so devastated. I learned that lesson. Don't feed another actor the lines. It's their job to learn their lines. When you're in rehearsal and the director is trying to solve a problem and they're thinking, they're working out some choreography or some staging, and you suddenly have an idea pop into your head and you go like, well, what if we do this? That's great every once in a while. You get an inspiration, you can throw it in. There's times when rehearsals are collaborative like that and sometimes the director is even asking people like for help and that's okay to chime in. And sometimes you just throw out an idea because it just occurs to you and it doesn't feel like you're directing other actors, but you gotta be careful about that because doing it too much seems like you're trying to take the reins. You're trying to impose your vision or the way you want to do the show onto another actor or the director. If you have an idea for a scene or if the director's stuck with something, wait until the next break and then go up and talk to the director one-on-one. -on -one. This gives the director time to listen to your idea without being in front of everybody and wasting people's time and also gives them a chance to think it over, even have a conversation as to why that wouldn't work or why it would work. And if they like the idea, they may even come back to rehearsal implement the idea and even give you credit for it. But it's best to pull them aside and give them the, your ideas then. Pick your battles because the more you do this, the more you're going to seem like a meddlesome actor. You might have that really great idea, but is it really that important? Is it something that could kind of be, get discovered on its own? You have to pick the battles that you want to fight. Giving notes and directing other actors is a behavior that tends to come out of good intentions. You're trying to speed things along, you're trying to solve problems, you're trying to streamline the rehearsal, you're trying to be the helpful actor, trying to make the show better, right? It comes from a place of wanting things to be better. But we have to remember that each of us has our own role to play and each of us has our own responsibility to do the part that we are given. You wouldn't want another actor to tell you how to play your role or to change something that you're already doing. Now, there's a lot of times when we are acting with actors, we aren't getting something that we want or we think a joke could land better or you have an idea that you want to play around with. How do you bring that up without being directorial or without giving another actor a note? Well, there's lots of subtle ways that you can get your idea across without giving a note. 
Giving another actor a note is really just about permission. So anytime you can go to a director and say, hey, I have an idea about this scene, can we try something? Getting permission from a person or a director uh, before you contribute your ideas is a good idea. And then once they give you permission, then you can say, hey, well, so here's the idea I had, and uh, let's try to work it out. And they, they can say, mm, that's not gonna work, or, oh, I love that idea, one or the other. But you've approached them uh, with your thought, your idea in advance and asked them if it's okay. It's the same attitude you should take anytime you touch somebody or get in somebody's physical space. You always ask permission before you touch them. All right, so another way that you can approach an actor with a note. Now say you're doing a scene with the actor and they're continually dropping a line. That's important, it's, it's a line and you're having to skip over a line of yours in order to get back on track. It's best to not feed that actor their line or tell that actor, hey, you know, you're dropping a line because that makes you sound like a know-it-all and it makes them sound like, like, oh, you're criticizing them. Instead, you can do a couple things. You can go to the director or the stage manager, depending on how far along it is. I usually opt for the stage manager and just say, hey, guess what? I noticed that so-and-so was dropping this line and it's causing a little kerfuffle in the scene and then let the stage manager handle it. That way it's coming from a voice of authority in the, in the production. Let them be your mouthpiece for you. And then the other thing you can do is to take the onus on yourself. Approach the other actor as if you did something wrong, as if you made a mistake and you want to correct it. So if another actor drops a line, I would always go and say, hey, can we run that bit of dialogue? Because something didn't go right the last time and I, I want to make sure that I'm not saying the wrong line or skipping a line or something like that. So in other words, you're planting the seed that you did something wrong. And then when you run the lines, that's the time when you, the other actor will discover that they're saying the wrong line. So that's how you can subtly work in a note, is take the blame on yourself. I find that if an actor is messing up or doing something incorrect, I ask them how I'm supposed to do it. Like, you know, for instance, if they're always entering from downstage right, and the director had told them to enter from upstage right, go to them and say, hey, do you remember where I'm supposed to enter from? because I thought I was supposed to enter from upstage right, you know? And then they'll say, oh yeah, I'm supposed to enter from downstage left. They might look at their script, they might remind them, it might refresh them. But in other words, you're taking the blame on yourself. You're saying, I don't understand something when you really do understand it, but you're getting them to understand it as well. It's a subtle and polite way of letting them figure out their own mistake by prompting them <laughs> With, with, uh, with a mistake of your own. And then sometimes you've worked with somebody for many, many years, you, you know each other, you're, you're good friends outside of theater, and it's okay to give each other permission to help each other along in the rehearsal process. So for instance, if, if you're doing a scene with somebody and it's a, a comic scene and you say, hey, I wanna work on this so that we can make it funnier or you know try out some bits or try to play around with it a little bit, then that other person is probably gonna give you permission. Like, yeah, if I'm messing up my lines, help me out. If, I, if, if you think of something funny, tell me, you know, and that way you're giving each other permission to give notes to each other along the way. You still want to be careful not to change the intent of the director or the direction of the director when you are talking with them. But oftentimes in theater or film, you're told to kind of go work on something yourself or flesh something out. And that's when it's perfectly fine to be collaborative and to, to help each other out. Now I've talked about giving notes to other actors. That's always pretty much a no-no. You don't wanna give notes to other actors. However, you do want to take notes. <laughs> now, what do I mean by that? Well, first of all, there's two ways of taking notes. One is like writing down your blocking and anytime a note is given to you by the director or the stage manager, making sure you write it down. You're taking the note down. But also taking the note is a term that people use when you're in the note session after a rehearsal. So you've done a run through of the show and the director is giving you notes. Anytime you're given a note, even if it's not completely 100% clear to you what the director was talking about, even if you don't agree with the note, just say, okay, thank you, and write the note down. Then take the director aside later on and ask for clarification. And the reason you wanna do that is those note sessions are sometimes tedious and people just kinda of wanna get out of there, get home. So you gotta take the notes so you're not making an excuse or having a comment or, or saying, oh yeah, I messed up, blah, blah, blah. Just say thank you, take the note, and then they can move on. I also had to learn that lesson the hard way because I used to take offense when a director would say, oh, I need to hear you, you need to be louder, or don't put your hands in your pocket. I'd always say, oh, yeah, well, I have a sore throat, or oh, yeah, well, I, uh, I'm just a bad habit. You know, and you would try to explain why you did the thing you did, and none of that's necessary. All you have to do is say, okay, sure. We've all been in shows or productions where somebody is giving notes or somebody is not taking the note and somebody is trying to direct things and it can be really annoying. So what if another actor is doing that to you? How do you deal with that? You can just say, hey, you know what? I would prefer if we go through the director or the stage manager to resolve this or to change anything that I've been given. This is what I was told to do. You don't have to be mean about it, but it is helpful to let people know 
when they're giving a note and how they're giving a note, if you can, in conversation, because otherwise people continue that bad habit and they never learn what the difference is. It took me a long time to figure this stuff out. It took a lot of embarrassing moments where I was giving notes and not <laughs> realizing it. And if you find that you are constantly holding your tongue, constantly coming up with ideas and solutions, then one of the things that you might wanna consider is becoming a director because you have director instincts. And if you are the director, then you will see what it's like from the other side where you are the one giving the notes and you'll see other actors out there giving other actors notes and you'll see why it can be bothersome and troublesome for them to do so. Thanks to my Patreon sponsors. I love you folks. Thanks for sticking with me. Have a good day. I guess that's about it. Boom.